Hey, what's up everybody? This is your man Pristine back with another video. Welcome to the Pristine Review for the Essential PH1 or the Essential Phone. You guys already know the order of business with the Pristine Reviews. First, I'm going to talk about the specs, the build quality, the performance, talk a little bit about the cameras, any additional features, battery life, and then I'll move into the final thoughts and my closing statements for the video. So without further ado, Let's get into this thing. Now, specs, one of the most important specs being the price. This phone is $699 with tax. It's $769.99. I know because I've bought two, not one, but two. I've got a Sprint variant and I've got the Unlocked variant, which is what this is right here. The reason for that is initially I got it through Sprint, decided that, yo, I can't be carrier bound with this device i want to be able to pop my t-mobile sim card in it and use it without sacrificing any functions or features and so i went to my local best buy and i went and copped the unlocked version so um right now actually i just saw yesterday that right now this phone is on sale at best buy for 5.99 that is a hundred dollars off so if you are interested in this in this device i'm not exactly sure how much longer that sale is going to be going on but this phone for 100 bucks off is an absolute steal. I don't care what you heard. The price, the full price for this device is absolutely worth it in my personal opinion. Okay? In my personal opinion, it's totally worth every penny. So it's like if you can get it for 100 bucks off, why not do that? Okay, so now we got that out the way, the price being one of the most important specs. Now, let's move on from that. This phone is packing a Snapdragon 835 processor, 4 gigs of RAM. We've got dual 13 megapixel cameras on the rear. We've got an 8 megapixel camera on the front. We've got a, uh, I believe this is, no, is this not a quad HD display? I got my, I got my cheat sheet here. It's a full HD display. The, the resolution is uh, 1312 by 2560 pixels. So yeah, this is a, this is Yes, okay, my bad, y'all. It is a, a Quad HD display with a 504 PPI pixel density. We are running an Adreno 540. We've got Android 7.1.1 Nougat fresh out of the box, and there's a planned upgrade to Android 8.0 Oreo, which the beta is already underway right now being tested for this device, so it's just a matter of time. I mean, we may see an Oreo update for the Essential phone here much sooner than later. Um, so those are another reason why you're going to be paying that premium price because you've got premium specs here now we've got a 3040 milliamp hour battery and that proves to be extremely sufficient for this device okay so those are the specs now the build quality <laughs> oh man the build quality my goodness Okay, now real quick, before I get into the build quality, there's one more spec that I, that I, that I forgot to mention, and I want to mention this because this is, a, this is a very important piece. Now, this phone, it comes standard with 128 gigs. Now, there is no SD card slot. There's no memory expansion, okay? It's just a flat 128 gigs, and that's all you get. I mean, so, you know, it's not one of those things where it's being sold at different gigabyte packages. There's no 64, there's no 256, it's only 128 gigs. And that's it, all right? Um, so, you know, some of you may, you know, may like that. Others may be turned off by it because of the fact that you cannot expand it beyond 128 gigs. You know, for me, that's plenty for me. Give me a 16 gig device and I'm good to go. Again, as I've mentioned in other videos, I don't do a bunch of downloading, I just stream music. On Spotify, you know, I, you know, watch videos on YouTube from time to time, and that's all I do. I mean, so I don't need a bunch, I don't need a bunch of memory, but we do have a standard 128 gigs built into this device that is not expandable. There is no SD card slot for memory expansion, and it is a single SIM setup. There's no dual SIM. It's a single nano SIM setup. All right, so you just pop one SIM card in this bad boy, and you're good to go. If you're looking for a dual SIM setup, then you may want to look elsewhere because it's not here on the Essential phone. All right. Now, the build quality. This has to be one of the best built phones that I've ever held. I say that because we've got Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front. We've got titanium 
along the sides, along the bottom, and along the top. And then on the back plate, it is a ceramic back plate, which is extremely, extremely hard. Very durable. This has to be, if not the most durable smartphone that's ever been built. You know, now I'm not, I'm not saying that this phone is indestructible. I'm not saying that it's impervious to damage. It can be damaged. But on a couple of drop tests that I watched on YouTube, this phone withstood some major, major drops. And I'm talking about drops where other phones that were tested that were being dropped from the same length were completely dec decimated and destroyed, obliterated. Okay, this phone had a few little scratches, a few little nicks here and there, but it was still going. Yeah, it was still going strong. Now, a lot of people... Okay, so a lot of people that get their hands on this device, they feel as though they don't need to put any protection on this phone. And I can understand why, because, you know, the phone is built that durably. But I still would recommend getting a case, a screen protector of some sort, just to protect your investment. Because whether you're making payments on this device or... Pardon me, y'all. got my three-year-old. She's sitting here to my left, and she's very interested in what I'm doing right now. So... Um, if you hear a little kid voice in the background, that's that's her trying to tell you guys a little something. Say hi, London. Hi. <laughs> oh, that was a weak hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um, I still would recommend just putting a case and a screen protector on this to protect the investment. I mean, again, whether you paid full price for the device or you're you know making payments, whether you're leasing or financing, whatever you're doing, you still want to protect your investment. In spite the fact that this phone was made extremely durable. Okay, so I have to say that the build quality on this device has to be, you know, just one of the best. And, you know, just the way the phone looks. For one, the phone is absolutely gorgeous. I love the fact that, for one, the fingerprint placement is exactly where a fingerprint ought to be. There's no discrepancy there. Okay, there's no arguing that. I feel like, you know, if there's, a, if there, if there's an argument between where the fingerprint placement should be, between this and any of the latest Samsung devices, the Note, the S8, the S8 Plus, this is going to win hands down every time. This, in my opinion, is where the fingerprint sensor ought to be. Now, I know a lot of people, they want the fingerprint sensor here where my thumb is. You know, I'm not really a big fan of that. I feel like when I hold the device, my index finger already rests right here as it is. The way that I like to, you know, hold and leverage my device. Why not just have the fingerprint sensor right here? Essential, they hit that right out of the park. They, got, they nailed it, okay? I love the fact that the selfie camera is right here smack dead in the middle. Now, a lot of people were kind of wondering how that was going to happen. A lot of people were wondering, okay, well, how intrusive it's going to interfere with the screen. Actually, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. It just blends right. And look at that display. Look at this doggone display, man. I mean, it just blends right into the display. Okay. Now, look, let's take it to YouTube real quick. All right. Let's go to YouTube. Here, let's go to my channel. All right. Now, if I want to watch the video, you see that? You see that? You see the black border? It just blacks it out. And then when you turn it in landscape mode, it just black it just blacks it out. So there's, you know, it blacks it out right there. And on the bottom right there, which is the bottom chin. So this is what it looks like when you're viewing Beauty, when you when you're viewing media content, so it's not like you know the 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 front facing camera is intruding upon anything that you are attempting to watch. This is how it is. I mean, whether you're watching Netflix, Hulu, you know, whatever whatever you're watching, you know, that front facing selfie camera is not going to be in the way. Then when you scroll, when you when you when you go out, okay, when you go out of the video, then boom, there it is. You see how they did that? So it is not intrusive at all whatsoever. I love the fact that the speaker, the receiver, is right here. There's a little slit that's right here. And I don't know if you guys can see the little... I don't know if you guys can see the little LED light that's blinking. There's a little tiny LED light that blinks right there. If I have any kind of notifications, you know, it blinks blue. If I miss a call, then it'll blink red. You know, but it's so little. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's there. And I, I just love the way that it looks. 
you know, this phone just looks so amazing. It was crafted so well. There it is right there. I know you guys saw that little blue, that little blue LED indicator. So just to give you guys an idea how thin, that, look at that. Look at how thin that is. Now watch it blink again. Right there. So from the left to the right right here, that's where the receiver is. That's the part when you're talking on this device, that's what you're putting to your ear to talk on the phone. And a lot of people, they were questioning, well, how's that going to work? I mean, it's really nothing there. So how good is the quality of this speaker? Trust me, it sounds just like you're talking on a landline. man. like I said, man, this is Andy Rubin. He ain't no punk, man. You know what I'm saying? The Essential team, they crafted this device beautifully, beautifully. All right. So that's the build quality. Now, performance. Let's get into performance, man. Performance on this device, stellar, stellar, right? No hiccups, no lags. Now, this is it's called the essential phone for a reason. This is probably going to be one of the one of the most basic, most stock Android experiences that you're going to get. There's nothing on this device, nothing. When you turn it on for the first time, the only apps that are on this device are apps that are from the Google suite, which is typical for any stock Android device. That's all there's on it. There's no bloatware whatsoever. This is the unlocked variant. It's being sold exclusively through Sprint. So even the Sprint version, when you turn it on, the only thing that's preloaded on this device is the My Sprint app. That's it. Now, you'll look right here. I got my T-Mobile suite right here. I got my Sprint suite right here. The reason why I downloaded those two is because this phone, like I said, this is the unlocked version. I bought this from, you know, from Best Buy full price. It's completely GSM and CDMA unlocked. So I can take this device to any carrier that I want to, and I can pop my SIM card in and I can use this phone. You know, so when I'm rocking with T-Mobile, I got all my T-Mobile apps right there. When I want to throw my Sprint, my Sprint SIM card in there, then man, I can do that. And I got my, my, my Sprint stuff right there. You know what I mean? So, you know, the, the performance, no lag, no stutters, no hiccups at all whatsoever. Not once. Even when trying to get this phone to lag, it does not lag or stutter. Four gigs of RAM. The, man, the RAM management is completely solid. When you're running multiple apps, there is absolutely zero slowdown whatsoever. Not that I've seen, at least. So, you know, the, 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 the performance on this device has been outstanding. Look at this. You see that? This is Google Now. I like how when I scroll to the right... It brings up Google Now, and I just have a lot of information on here. This is how I find out about a, a lot of the smartphones. Look, Sharp made a mini version of the Essential phone, just uglier. Oh, okay, well, I have to take a look at that. Um, let's see what else. Blackberry's Key One Black Edition offers more than just good looks. Y'all have to read up on that. This is the most pointless moto mod ever made. You know, so things like that. Verizon will fix your smartphone screen for $29. Well, if you guys didn't know that and you're with Verizon and you got a cracked screen, you can take it to Verizon and it'll hook you up for 30 bucks. The Huawei Mate 10 Pro, outstanding steel image performance. I already knew that. I'm looking forward for that device to hit, these, hit the state so I can get my hands on it. Sprint T-Mobile deal announcement is likely to be delayed. Well, I kind of figured that. Um, LG V30 review by Mr. Mobile. Mr. Mobile, what's up, my guy? You know, I watch you real tough, real heavy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but... Yeah, you know, so and, and you see how it, you see how it looks and how it operates, man. You know, so the phone, the performance, stellar. Nothing short of stellar. All right. Now the cameras. Now here is a now here is where a lot of the controversy lies with this particular phone, and I don't really understand why. I really don't understand why because the cameras on this phone, in my opinion are absolutely solid. They can go toe to toe with some of the best of them in my, in my personal opinion. Now, I am I am I a am I a professional? Not by any stretch of the imagination. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not blind. I wear specs. You know, I wear glasses, which, you know, I have reading glasses because I'm nearsighted. So, you know, my glasses are magnified greatly. I call I don't even call them glasses. I call them my HDs. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the best way to describe how I see. You see what I'm saying? If I take my glasses off, then that's just like watching, you know, watching TV on just a regular channel before HD was announced. Then when you put the glasses on, then that's HD. Everything is magnified. Everything is crystal clear. Like I can look at a person's face without my glasses. I can see them just fine, but I can't see the detail. And then I put my glasses on and I can see the pores in your face. I can see, you know, the strands of hair. I can count the strands of hair. Crazy, right? You know what I'm saying? 
That's how detailed this camera is. I have no idea what people are talking about with this camera when they say things, negative things about it. When I go to the camera and I focus the viewfinder on a subject and I shoot that subject and I go back and I look at that photo, it is crystal clear. The colors are true to life. It's sharp. There's no graininess. It doesn't look washed. Everything just looks absolutely amazing. Now, if you want to see more footage from this camera, check out the video that I did called the essential phone forward slash the camera. Nice and simple. I got still shots. I got video footage and you guys can fe you guys can see for yourself. Now, here's one of the main things that I love. A lot of companies, they may hear that there's a problem or hear that there's a lot of customers griping about something and they won't do anything to fix it. The Essential team, they've already pushed out four updates, yo. Four updates for this camera to improve it. Matter of fact, let's go to the camera real quick. Okay. So again, since this is the Essential phone, you got the bare minimum. There really, is, there really isn't an option for... for um, so here are your settings. Here are your settings right here. Camera settings. Play shutter sound and store location. And I understand that there's supposed to be more updates that are going to be pushed that are going to allow you to have more more settings but this is it this is all you get right here right you've got an hdr you got an hdr mode now that wasn't there you can record in 4k you know what i'm saying and then you've got the regular auto mode you've got mono which is your black and white for monochrome because it has dual 13 megapixel camera one is a standard viewfinder the other one is a black and white monochrome uh, monochrome camera and so the rationale behind that is is when you take a picture then you got slow mode, uh, mode right here. But when you take a picture, both the standard camera and the monochrome camera consolidates the image to produce the best picture quality. Okay, that's why there's a dual, a dual camera setup on the back of this thing. All right, the camera has been improved. Now, a lot of the still shot images that some of the reviewers that slammed the camera, a lot of the pictures that they showed, to me, those were some damn good looking photos. You know what I mean? But again, I'm not a professional. So from what I saw in other people's video, the photos that they took look really good. The photos that I've taken look really good. There's already been four updates that have been pushed to this camera and more to come. The camera's only getting better. You see what I'm saying? So I don't think that anybody would be disappointed with the camera or the video footage that this phone can take. And again, don't take what I'm don't take my word for it. Don't take any other reviewer's word for it. Everybody has a has an opinion. That, it, that they're entitled to, okay? You know, you may watch other YouTubers' video who may be way more seasoned than I am, and they may say, oh, the camera's trash. And then you may hear me say, the camera's great. The best thing that you can do is, if man, you can go down to your local Best Buy where they got this phone on display, or you can walk into your local Sprint store where they have this phone on display. Ask, them, ask one of the reps if they've got a microfiber cleaning cloth or a cloth of some sort where you can wipe off the camera lenses because a lot of those demo models, people, they just pick them up any old kind of way. They smudge up the, free, the, 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 the camera sensors on the front and the back. And then when you go to try to do like a sample picture, then it looks like crap because the camera's all smudged up. Wipe off the camera and open up the camera and shoot something. I guarantee you're going to be like, whoa, <laughs> this camera is a beast. You know what I'm saying? So get it in your hands and test it for yourself before you take what I say for it or before you believe what somebody else has to say about it. That's the best experience that you can get with this phone by getting it in your hands, seeing how it feels, seeing how it functions, testing the camera out for yourself, and then be the judge on whether or not it's a good camera to you or not. Don't go based off what other people say to you, okay? But in my personal opinion, the camera on this phone is absolutely solid, solid, all right? Now, additional features. There aren't really too many because this is the essential phone. Andy Rubin and the essential team, they did a test on a lot of people that carry cell phones on what's important to them and what's not. And what people and, and, you know, according to the statistics, the things that were most important to people are the things that they put in this device. Everything else they left out. So there are not too many bells or whistles. There's a, there's not a lot of fluff. As I already mentioned, there's zero bloatware. You know what I mean? On this device, which is a plus. You know what I'm saying? But. The only features that you've got is you can double click a volume button or the home or the, or the home button, which is right here to open up the camera. 
Just like that, you know, so you got the world star feature, you know what I'm saying? If something's popping off and you need to catch it real quick, just double click that, you know, that button and it'll open up the camera. Or as I just did, when I raised up the phone, I can see the time and the date and I can see all my notifications right there. OK, those are really the only features. But again, this phone does everything that I needed to do. You know, fingerprint sensor. Bam, it's nice and snappy. You know. Works 100% of the time. See that? Some people say, oh, well, the fingerprints, it, 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 it delays or it doesn't open the screen fast. Okay, look, here we go. You see that? How fast does the screen have to open, people? You know, I think that, you know, I, 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 you know not to, not, I would never disrespect anybody's review or their personal opinions on what they feel the device is and how it functions. But I think a lot of people, they nitpick, yo. It's like they find little things to find wrong with these phones to not give it a solid or a good rating according to them. Or I don't know if these people are being paid off by, by some of these other companies to, to, to just bash phones, you know what I mean? Just to, you know put negative things out there in people's minds so that people won't buy it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, I'm hard on phones. You know what I mean? You know, I tell you what I like and what I don't like. I mean, if there, I, there's not really too many things about this phone that I don't like, you know, the footprint. I mean, this is a 5.7 inch display. I love the footprint. I have very small hands, so it's nice to have a 5.7 inch display on a small phone with a foot with it where, I mean, <laughs> Bezelless? This is bezelless. Look at this. This is bezelless. There's nothing on this screen but the chin that's right there. To me, this is a true bezelless displayed phone. You know what I mean? So I feel like, you know, Xiaomi, the Mi Mix, and the Mi Mix 2, they, they did it. They, I mean, they, well, they're the originators of it. You know what I mean? But I think that this is a really, really good bezelless displayed phone, in my personal opinion. It's got all the top specs and features, um, or it's got all the top specs, not a lot of features. But again, the phone does everything that you need it to do. It's nice and snappy. It's got the latest and the greatest specs and hardware, the best hardware, you know what I'm saying? Due to be get, you know, getting updated to Oreo soon, sooner than we think. I mean, small footprint, all the buttons are properly placed where they need to be, fingerprint sensors where it needs to be. Oh, and okay, so you know what? Before I forget to mention, so there is a feature that I want to talk that I want to talk about really quickly. So this is this is a modular this is a modular phone. It it's a modular device. You see these two little prongs right here. So there's different little mods that you can connect to this device. Now, right now, the only mod that I know of is a 360 camera. It's the world's smallest 360 camera, and you clip it on here. Now it's just like think of think of Motorola in the Moto mods. And how the Moto Mods clip to the back of the phone. And there's those pins at the bottom of the device. And that's how data is shared between the phone and the mod to enable the features and functionality of the mod. Well, these two pins do the same thing. So when you clip that 360 camera on right here, boom, as soon as you clip it on, this is how data and information is shared between the phone and the 360 camera. And this is what powers the 360 camera as well. So this is also a modular phone and there's, you know, according to Andy Rubin and the essential team, they're working on more mods to come out that you can clip to this phone to enhance the overall user experience for this device. That's pretty solid, right? So as far as I know, I mean, right now you can buy the 360 camera that's on sale. They're working on a wireless charger mechanism that you'll just be able to set the phone down on top of like so, and you'll be able to wirelessly charge the device. Okay. You know, so, you know, I know for a fact that those things are in the world, well, the, the, the 360 camera, I mean, you can go buy that right now. I have no idea when some of the other accessories that Essential is working on are going to be available for this particular device. All right. Now, battery life. 3,040 milliamp hour battery. Does it stand the test of time? Yes, it does. You know, I don't think there's going to be too many batteries that I'm not going to get decent performance with. 
just because of how I use my phones. Now, I use these phones, like when I'm really testing these phones, I really put them through their paces to see exactly how fast I can drain a battery. And then what I'll do is I'll turn around and I'll just use it normally like I would use any, you know, just any phone and then just see exactly how much juice I get through a day. Okay. Heavy usage with this device, I was impressed. I was still able to get through most of a day. By the end of the day, I had to put it on the charger. Then, that this is when I was just randomly just just using everything. I mean, just streaming, downloading, you know, watching watching tons and tons of content. You know what I'm saying? And that side of and that sort of thing. It still got me through a full day. Now, scale it down to how I typically use a phone, which is pretty moderate. Talk, text, stream music on Spotify. Watch a video or two on YouTube. Talk and text. I don't check emails on my on my phone, nothing like that. I either do that for my computers or my tablets. So again, all those things I need to be turned off, that fryer battery, they, they stay off. And I get really, really good battery life with this 3,040 milliamp hour battery. At least four and a half or five hours of screen on time. That's really good for you know, a battery this small. But again, you know, this is the essential phone. It's not, the, there's not a lot that's going on with this device or there's not a lot of extra things going on with this device that this battery is going to have to account for that may drain it quicker. So you don't have to worry about those things. So you get really, the end result is you get really good battery life. And that was what my experience was, and I'm pretty sure that would be your experience as well. But again, everybody uses their phones differently, so it's just a matter of how do you use your device. But the battery is solid, and it will stand the test of time. It will definitely easily get you through a full day, a full day's uh, of usage. Like I said, for me, I mean, I can charge it fully, and I can go close to a day and a half without having to charge it again. You know, but again, I'm a moderate, I'm, I'm a light and, mo you know, light to moderate user. So that's my experience with the Essential phone. So my final thoughts, what I think about this device, I think this is one of the dopest phones that is released in 2017. And that says a lot because there's a lot of great phones that dropped in 2017. There's a lot of phones that are coming out. I mean, the V30 just came out last Friday, just yesterday, the Pixel 2 touchdown, you know, so that's available in stores, you know. The, the, the Mate 10 and the Mate 10 Pro is going to be on us, uh, upon us soon next week, um, next Thursday, I believe. You know, the Moto X4 is coming out. You know, I'm going to get my hands on that, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be on the channel. We're still waiting for the iPhone X. You know, we still got some joints that's coming out, yo. You know what I'm saying? But I think for, this, you know, this, this is the Essential Team's first go-around with the device. And... It's hard to break into an industry that is so saturated with so many different operating systems, well, not operating systems, but so many different OEMs that are making Android devices, especially Android, because you've got so many manufacturers that are making Android devices. And to be able to make a device and put a little dent in what's already been done is extremely difficult, extremely difficult. But Andy Rubin and the Essential team, they knew what they were doing. Now, the launch of this phone was shaky. You know, Andy Rubin, he revealed it. My understanding is that he had already made up to a billion dollars on this project, over a billion dollars on this project before it was even shipped out and touched the hands of anybody that ordered the phone. You know, and then there was a, a problem with, you know, delays and not meeting deadlines as far as when the phone was supposed to be available, you know, with no real explanation for. Yeah, all those things were frustrating. I was frustrated by it as well. And I'm pretty sure those things made people question, OK, what's really going on with this device? What's going on? It's probably going to be trash, you know, so whatever. This, in my opinion, is one of the best devices that you can get your hands on right now. And I'm not even really a big fan of stock Android, but I mean, the simplistic the, the, the simplistic nature of this device, the operating system, the hardware, everything just works so smooth and fluid. The footprint, how good it feels in the hand, how durably it's built, how well the cameras function, how well the phone performs. Even the speaker, the, the, the bottom firing speaker, this speaker is a, is a single bottom firing speaker and it sounds amazing. Just, I mean, the phone is just different, you know, to the, 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 the. The front-facing selfie camera being smack dead in the middle of the device, so now I can take a selfie. I can literally just hold the phone in front of my face and not have to worry about having it at some type of angle because the selfie camera is either on this side or this side of the device. 
So there's benefits to having the selfie camera smack dead in the middle of the phone right where it is. But aside from that, it's just different. Who else has done that? You know what I mean? So kudos. For, man, I got it. Yeah. I, I, I clap it up and salute the essential, the essential team. London, you want to clap? Go ahead and clap, baby. Yeah, go ahead and clap for the essential team. Well done by the essential team on this one, man. Thumbs up in my book, man. You know what I'm saying? I recommend this phone to anybody, man. The price isn't too ridiculous. I mean, it's steep for some people. You know what I'm saying? So it's not for everybody in that regard. But I, I find it hard to believe that anybody that got this phone in their hand wouldn't enjoy it, man. I really find that hard to believe. This is a really, really nice device. Don't sleep on this product, y'all. If you're looking for a new smartphone, don't pass this up. Check it out. And if, if for whatever reason you pass it up and choose something else, then cool. You know what I'm saying? But weigh your options out first. This is a really, really good device, in my opinion. One of the best in 2017. Tell me, man, Pristine told you. All right, so that's all I got here for the essential phone. All right? If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already to expose yourself to tons of content that I've already done and tons of more content to come. So keep it locked here on Pristine Mobile Tech. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Much love to you guys for rocking with me, staying patient with me. All my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the journey. I appreciate the subscription. Keep it locked right here in Pristine Mobile Tech. I'm going to continue doing what I do, get my hands on these devices, feed you guys this information to help you guys make an informed decision on what you want to invest in when it comes to mobile devices. I'm going to close this video out like I always do. You already know, stay safe. We're definitely living in the last days. If you're not spiritually fit, please get spiritually fit with Christ. Get your life right with Christ. We're definitely living in the last days. And if death were to creep around some unsuspecting corner, you want to know that you've got a trump tight relationship with our creator so that you'll know for a fact where you're going to reside for eternity. Are you going to be led into those gates? Those pearly gates up in heaven? Or are you getting shot down? To dwell where it's the hottest place ever. I don't know about y'all, man, but I feel like I know where I'm going, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I'm, I'm God's working on me every day, all day, you know. But I've accepted him, and his love, grace, and mercy saved me, and I know it has saved you as well. All you got to do is trust and believe in him and accept him as your Lord and Savior. I ain't going to preach to you. That's all I'm going to say. We're, we're living in the last days, y'all. Think I'm playing. Go open up the book of Revelations in the Holy Bible and read it. And... Apply it to all the stuff that's happening today right before our very eyes. None of this stuff that is happening is a surprise to me. And it shouldn't be a surprise to you <laughs> if you can face the reality that we are living in the last days. Man, I ain't trying to scare nobody. That's just the reality. You know what I'm saying? So get spiritually fit and keep it pristine in every aspect of your lives, man. This is the Essential Phone or the Essential PH1. I'm your man, Pristine, delivering the content. We catch you in the next video, y'all. Peace. Yeah.